Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Anita and the Man. I'm Brian Hewitt of Morningstar Communications Network, MC Ministries, giving you the love of the Lord throughout the entire world, to the world, and for to give you that new expression of love and peace, joy, hope, faith, and love. We thank you for this time, O oh Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to be sharing this evening hour and live coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. And again, I'm Brian Hewitt. Welcome to our broadcast from the MC Ministries Bible LA. Sharing you in the truth of the Lord of His time, of this time, forever and ever. We will be speaking of the images of God today. The images of God, how God has desperately wanted you to plan your new life with God leading you the way, God loving you, God bringing you to that absolute truth in the Master's name of Jesus. And it's hiding this moment into that love bringing you to the justification of the Lord Jesus Christ we're going to be using a familiar scripture as a foundation scripture tonight from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 let's put our finger in that part of the Bible got a clean sheet of notebook paper because we'll be doing some top dancing through the scriptures and let's go before the throne of God and pray dear Jesus we love you we lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart we think with unity of the Holy Spirit to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ, we thank for the images of you, all oh God, how you change us, how you make us, how you mold us, and never stop taking us off the power as well until we are kingdom bound, walking through your kingdom for eternal glory. We raise the praise to you on this evening hour in, in Los Angeles, California. We thank you for the morning hours wrapping around the world, embracing your love, the truth of this time, with this time. We thank you for the new mercies of this day. We thank you for the wisdom and discernment that you poured down upon us. In Jesus, not his name. Amen. Philippine, Philippine chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good, are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, oh, lift up the praise, brethren and sisters. We are to lift up the praise, raising the praise every day. And we have to mediate on these things to finish the scripture. To bring us to his time. To bring us to his love. When we have the images of God into our life, we have the reflections of the Bible. We have moved into the, to the art of the offering of obedience, getting ourselves into faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek Bible studies and Sunday services of the saints. The Lord of heaven and earth, Acts chapter 17, verse 24. God who made the world and everything in it, since he is the Lord of heaven, does not dwell in temples made with hands. So Paul introduced this God to the Greeks in Athens. So he is proclaimed throughout the Bible to all who read it. The creator of all things found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, both the heavens and the earth. Yet we, God is the creator of all. The creator of all. Genesis chapter 1, 24 and 27. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to the kind, cattle, creeping thing, and beast of the earth each according to its kind, and so it was. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make the man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have a dominion over the fish in the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Of this expression, God's omnipotence, omnipotence all powerful. He made the constellations, the earth, the revolution, the earth's revolution in the watcher cycle, who created the mountains, the winds, and knows the mind of man. Amos chapter 5, verse 8. He made the Pleiades and the Orion. He turns the shadow of death into the morning and makes the day dark as night. 
He calls the waters of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. We come into the expressions of rituals, of polite prayer meetings, and guiding every so powerful love into the truth. But to walk into one mind and one judgment of Christ, to walk into the abundance of God's loving truth, to seek the Lord, to find it in His everlasting, powerful way. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts upon you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank you for this time, the unity of the Holy Spirit, to be of the one mind and one judgment of Christ, to come into this time, your expression of your love, guiding us to that sweet embrace of the powerful love that we have for all. Of this, for this, with this expression of his truth, to guide us into the mountains of the blessings of God. The mountains that with our faith we can move them. With the, mount, with the faith that we can move all circumstances to the healthy reflection of God. And with these images, this omnipresence, final one, let's go to this, he is everywhere. We cannot flee from his presence from the womb and throughout life he is there. We cannot hide from him. He fills the heaven and earth. Jeremiah 23, verse 23 and 24. Am I a God near at hand, says the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can anyone hide himself in secret places? So I shall not see them, says the Lord. So do not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. Let's turn to one, Psalms 139, 7 through 16. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. And neither darkness shall not hide from you. But the night shines as the day, the darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And in your book they were all written in the days fashioned of me, for me, when as yet there were none of them. God created all. He can bring you out of your judgment. He can bring you out of your yoke of bondage of sin. He can bring you to the glory revealed in creation. The heavens, the firmament, declare this handiwork. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and the Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Psalms 19, verse 1 and 2. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmaments show his handiwork. Day unto day, unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. His will reveal in his word. We come into this time, the relation into God's Word. Psalms 19, 7 and 8. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, the testimony of the land is sure, making wise and simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. The inspiration is to come into your life, into your heart, into the
essence and being to move into this loving truth, to guide you into this time of your love, to guide you into this moment of your truth. Bring to us, O oh Lord, your shining deliverance. Bring to us, O oh Lord, the images of you to live upon us as a reflection of a guide to, to this life and this world that we live in. We come with many disguises of the dark shadows wrapped her up, wrapped up in sheep's clothing. And if you are ever asked what do you believe or who do you believe, you can say you believe in God. You believe that God can give you the authority which he has when you turn your life over to Christ to change the world as a change maker, as a peacemaker. Coming into the substance of his truth, coming into the substance of his glory, coming into the substance of all that has come into my life and for my life. In the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We sing of the truth. But the world wants to sing of war. We sing of peace. And it speaks of murder. We have many groups organizing themselves as terrorist groups. Some are just out to get mineral rights, as we saw in parts of Africa. Yet, his love is revealed. God's love is, is revealed in Jesus. He loved us even though we were sinners and enemies. He said Jesus died and reconciled us back to him. Jesus is the propitiation, the appeasing sacrifice for our sins. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. God, God demonstrates his own love toward us. That while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than, have we now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Yeah. Dear Lord, the message, the image, images of God. First John chapter 4, 9 and 10. And this, the love of God, was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent us into the propitiation for our sins. We return to Paul's sermon to the Greeks in Athens in Acts chapter 17. God made us to seek for him. But God made us seek for him, and for he is not far from any one of us. God commands all men everywhere to repent, for the judgment day is coming, in which the world will be judged by Jesus. God has offered assurance of the judgment by ra ra raising Jesus from the dead. Acts chapter 17, 24-31. God who made this world and everything in it. He is Lord of heaven and earth. He does not dwell in the temples made with hands. He is worshipped with men's hands, and though he though he needed anything, he, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. And, and he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth, and has determined pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him though he is not far from each one of us for in him we live and move and are being as, as also some of our own powers have said for we are also his offspring therefore since we are the offspring of God we ought to not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Because he has appointed a day in which he will judge the world and righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Seek 
the truth, and you shall find it in the name of Jesus Christ. We have God's creativity. We have God's omnipotence. We have God's omniscience. We have His omnipresence. His glory revealed in creation. His will revealed in His world. His love revealed in Jesus. His judgment promised to come. In Jesus' precious name. Jeremiah chapter 9 23 Thus is the Lord let the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might nor let the rich man glory in his riches Brethren We are here to give you the message of peace through Jesus Christ message of the absolute truth coming into this time right now. Jesus loves you. He wants to create, God created you so you could be a habitation of your glory, the image of God in you. For when you look at your reflection in the mirror, you now see Jesus Christ when you are born again. God is married to the backslider. Every one of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Romans 10.13 if you don't know Christ, you want to move forward in your life, if, just jot this down and pray through Romans 10, 13. It, says, it sings like this. But whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whether you've caught up in addictions, power plays, trying to really not fall into the temptation of being lukewarm. Go into your prayer chambers, your knees, your, wherever you want to pray. Pray ceaselessly, and as you are praying ceaselessly, you are praying one-on-one -on -one with the King. This is where we ask our experienced viewers that have been with us since the, we started broadcasting the first part of February, that we encourage you to bring two to three unsaved acquaintances, people that, friends, people that you just met, the grocery store, the bus lines, the workplace. This is for you. This is for you. That you bring these unsaved acquaintances of yours, the brethren, so they can share the same inheritance that you've been witnessed about, witnessed to. Repeat this after me. Those who want to be recommitted, those who want to be born again. Dear God, I, I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control, and to help me become the kind of person you have always wanted me, me, me to be. Thank you, Father, for bringing us forward. That's my wife praising you in the background. I am lifting your name up to the heavenlies. Most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. It doesn't get any better than that when you see here God's royal angels singing your name before the throne of God. Their first offering is the offering of obedience to get yourself into faith-based, spirit-led church, maybe Bible study, Sunday, service of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship in Jesus' precious name. And we come into the absolute truth. We come into the aspect of God's love, God's way, moving us into his creation of the now of faith, of this message, of this time. Now, we encourage for you to get to know us because we want to get to know, know you at BrianJewitt.com. BrianJewitt.com, there you'll see several missionary teams, several countries that we represent. And in addition, many auxiliaries from our translation to our evangelical to our medical teams we have this in the accordance for your growth. 
We are inviting you to travel with us, to be with us, to go into one mind and one judgment of Christ with us, and to be a financial partner to our ministries. Jesus shows you the guarantee. You're found in John chapter 4, verse 35. You don't have to wait four months from now because your fields are white. Your harvest is now ready for the picking. As you are picking this, God's pruning you to show you how to produce your calls, enlarge the center of your territory, and use these provisions to guide you upon your journey. And then as you plant your financial seed, you are the sower, but the power is not in you, the sower, but in the seed. And then we go from from the vision to the manifestation. The living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. Then Malachi chapter 3 comes alive above your head. That the windows of heaven will open up above you, pour down blessings upon you, that you have no room in your storehouse to plant them, to keep them or save them. In Jesus' precious name. Jesus' precious name. We guide of the living truth of you, O God. We come into this time of your love. We guide you into this night for your love. Now, there's a couple different journeys you can take to send us your tithes and offerings. One of them is to move. To go to brianqhewitt.com. Go to the bottom left corner of our website. Click on the contact link there. You'll see our physical address and our full name, our organizational name. is Morning Star Communication Network, MCM Ministries. We are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States. In addition, brethren, in addition, you can go up to the donation links in your times and offerings right away. On both journeys, you'll get a receipt after the first of the year. First of the year. For your tax purposes and your records. Brethren, we have the glory and the wisdom as we just expressed in Jeremiah chapter 9 23 and 24. The most important thing in life is to know God and serve Him. To move into this time God's endless realm of His love into the power of all truth, into the power of all love. For in the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We lift up, we lift up our prayers of repentance and forgiveness, O oh God, as you pour your new mercies and your fresh men upon us every day. We thank you for the wisdom and discernment that we cry unto you, that we want to know you ever more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday, so we can live a full life the fullness of you, O oh Lord. No more worshipping false gods. No more worshipping idols. No more worshipping soul-traveling cults. We are going to heed your word, O oh Lord, as a guide into the ever-sounding truth. In the master's name of Jesus, Jesus' name, Amen. Brother Ned, that does conclude our broadcast for this evening. I'm Brian Hewitt. And on behalf of Anita Hewitt and the man yours truly, we thank you for your time until next time. Do see you up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianHewitt.com. BrianHewitt.com and stay up to date with our Twitter handle, Twitter handle at Bryant Hewitt. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day.